a message from the Holy Spirit. Message 8 You do not pay close enough attention to your thoughts. You let them wander in and out of dark places without restraint or control. They seem to arise unbidden at times, as though you were at their mercy, and you suffer needlessly at the hands of thinking you seem unable to stop or control by your own will. But know this, your thoughts and your physical experience are connected, and the thought always comes first. Yet, when you fall into the depths of despair, call on me and I will lift you to peace. But you must first call, for peace will not enter where it is not welcome. It forces itself upon no one. You need but truly want my peace, and I will come. It is by this choice to choose between thoughts of peace or thoughts of conflict that you hold yourself at your own mercy. No one can choose for you. And the more quickly you choose peace when you find yourself in despair, the sooner you can be released from suffering. Choose now, this holy instant. Simply state, I do not want this thought. And notice how the tight grip around your heart loosens ever so slightly. State it again with the full desire of your heart to the exclusion of all else. Then note how quickly your mind rests in the quiet stillness of my love, my peace, the deep silence that comes when the ego speaks no more. So develop the habit of replacing your painful thoughts with the desire to let them go. And life as you know it will transform, reflecting the peace you have so vehemently chosen. This is the simplicity of salvation. You are but salvaged from your own choice to dwell in suffering through the ego's desire to have this world as it wishes, not as the will of God has created it in truth. It is the ego's desire to have conflict, but the will of God is peace. Therefore, let go of your desire to control specific outcomes as you see them, let go of your desire to dictate how peace should come to you, and you will have let go of the ego's tight hold on your mind. Your thoughts will rest in peace, knowing all things lead you to me. You will then cross the bridge to my peace, a world of light and life as you could never imagine while your eyes are blinded by the world you see now. A Course in Miracles states, the bridge itself is nothing more than a transition in the perspective of reality. On this side, everything you see is grossly distorted and completely out of perspective. What is little and insignificant is magnified, and what is strong and powerful cut down to littleness." End quote. And so it is. Salvation is so simple you could hardly believe it is the way. Change your perspective from conflict to peace through changing your thoughts, and you shift your reality. Your thoughts of this world, which seem so important to you now that it causes your ego to rise in anger, anxiety, fear, and at times a sense of loss so deep you fear it will cause your very death. These are the least of all things to be thinking about. And yet, what is completely overlooked and seen as weakness and nothing are the simple acts of kindness, a smile, the release from judgment of another you know nothing of, and the relinquishment of attack thoughts in any form. These are the greatest accomplishments you will ever do here. For these thoughts are what bring you to salvation and my peace. With love, the Holy Spirit.